Understanding a Server versus Workstation To explain the difference between a server versus a workstation to non-technical end-users, think of a server as the office manager of a major corporation, responsible for facilitating services and communication with other offices. The workstation can be compared to an individual team manager, whose role it is to perform critical daily tasks and receive insight from the office manager. Similarly, a server has a more holistic, communication-driven role, whereas a workstation fulfills a more specialized function. If a server is designed to fulfill client-server tasks, then how do we define a workstation? Traditionally, the term workstation was used to describe laptops or desktop computers used by employees on a daily basis to send emails, draft presentations, and perform other administrative tasks. However, as the digital landscape has evolved, most IT professionals reserve the word workstation to describe more advanced, high-performing computers often utilized by architecture firms, graphic design studios, and other companies that need to run high-end design and analysis applications. Let's break the nuances between servers versus workstations down even further for end users. Function. Servers are software and hardware that store data, manage network resources, and fulfill client requests. Workstations are laptops and PCs that quickly perform complex technical tasks, such as digital content creation and detailed analysis. Form. Servers come in many forms like FTP, web, application, mail, proxy, and telnet servers. Workstations can be designed for high-performance video production, audio recording, architecting, engineering, database management, and software development. Operating System. Servers work on Linux, Windows, BSD, and Solaris operating systems. Workstations operate on Unix, Linux, macOS, and Windows, and are designed to run software from independent software vendors. Structure. Servers are connected to keyboards but not always hooked up to monitors. Workstations are always connected to both monitors and keyboards and rely on all the accessories associated with a standard computer. Location. Servers live in a designated room or server tower. Workstations aren't tied down to a larger data center, which means they can be moved between different desks and offices as necessary. Reliability. Servers typically contain error-correcting double data rate, DDR modules. Rely on redundant area of inexpensive disk, RAID technology for disk storage, and leverage multiple power supply units and network ports. Workstations don't rely on DDR modules or RAID storage disks and typically use only one power supply unit and one network port. Interface. Servers can be equipped with Graphics User Interface, GUI, but aren't necessarily. Workstations are mandatorily installed with GUI. Why do we need a server in addition to workstations? When working with clients of all sizes, it's important to stress that most companies should leverage a server to improve the security of their data and enhance reliability. Unlike a desktop computer, a server is built with the power to manage, store, send, and process data 24 hours a day, even if a hardware failure occurs. Another benefit of servers you can highlight for your clients is the facilitation of data protection. Without a server, a data backup would require transferring files from each individual workstation. Can I use a workstation as a server? Because workstations and servers have some similarities, many clients may wonder if a workstation can be developed into a server. Technically speaking, the answer is yes. Taking file backup to the next level. After illustrating the differences between servers and workstations to the businesses you work with, the next natural step is to advise them to also invest in additional backup software. While servers offer better data security than workstations, Having backup software is still critical in the event of unexpected cyber attacks or user error. Clients should understand that backup software is a crucial safety net, especially for companies with high stakes around data loss.